I'm Laura Westbrook and I'm standing outside Hong Kong's Legislative Council where once again a handful of protesters have slept overnight. They're demanding that controversial extradition bill be scrapped and Carrie Lam, the leader of Hong Kong, resign. Well, we can go live now to Hong Kong and I reported there. Let's cross uh, live to Hong Kong and we can speak to the BBC's Laura Westbrook. Let's go live to Hong Kong now. Uh, Laura Westbrook is there for us. Uh, Laura, uh, Joshua now becoming the mouthpiece, isn't he, in a way, to explain what all these protesters are wanting the global audience to hear. Yes, this is undoubtedly a big moment for this protest movement. Joshua Wong, obviously one of the most well-known faces of the 2014 umbrella movement. People have been gathering here since early this morning. More and more people are arriving, and they look like they're also occupying the Legislative Council building, which is Hong Kong's parliament. This is a major climb down for the government. Just a few days ago, Carrie Lam was saying that she was adamant she was is going to push this bill through next week. Now today she said that it's going to be suspended. Here in Hong Kong, many people have returned to work and the daily commute. The first thing you'll notice is that everyone wears a mask. In fact, the Hong Kong government has promised to distribute free reusable masks to all Hong Kong residents. Maggie has been living with the debilitating symptoms of hypothyroidism for years. It's a condition where the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough hormones for the body's needs. I was feeling tired, sleeping all the time, really dry skin, your hair falls out, you get loads of spots and oh, it's, it's just horrendous. You don't go out, you don't socialise. My life is just a nothingness. Hello and welcome. British police officers are in Turkey searching for three schoolgirls from London. It's thought they are planning to join Islamic State in Syria. The CIA believes IS may have up to 31,000 fighters in the region. And from that, it's estimated 20,000 of them are foreign recruits, travelling from almost 80 countries to fight with the extremist groups.